Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with BrickLover18 Asks You number 12. Last week I asked you what your favorite mock was or anything that somebody has done and I'm just going to get right into the answers here. And Tosh BB says Warren Ellsmore's Lego Airport. Search Lego Airport and it should come up. Mr. Bricks agrees about him. He hasn't seen the airport, but he says his mocks are very cool. XV Shadow Game Gamer at VX says that the Yankee Stadium by Sean Kenny, he's a school kid, he and a school kid built it. They used over 45,000 Lego bricks, which is pretty impressive. He put a link to the pictures. And Mr. Bricks said again that he has seen a lot of great mocks, but Jang Brick Shopping Mall had, is, are really good as long as the other guys. Kevin F. says Allison Finch's Hogwarts Castle. I have seen, said I should Google it, but I have definitely seen that. I don't know anybody who really hasn't seen that. That's a, a crazy, an amazing mock. Lego Wheels 19 said Brick, Bricks for Chris, awesome looking mountain waterfall. Rita Keller said AFOL Man's Oil Rig. And Three Brick Friends said the large castle and historical mocks, but he can't think of any examples at the top of his head. And Poke Craft Rat said Jang Bricks' Mall. I have seen a lot of very cool mocks, but one of the coolest mocks I think I've ever seen was at Brick Fet in Toronto, and it was all the collectible minifigures habitats. I saw that and that was amazing. They had all 100 and 200 and whatever minifigures. I don't even know and I'm not doing the math right now. They had all 200 and whatever minifigures displayed plus the Lego like, movies, plus the Simpsons, plus the Great Britain minifigures and there were just so many cool figures there. Very interesting to see. Um, it was all done by Torlug, so that's Toronto Lug. I hope they bring that to the Ottawa Brick Fet, but I don't know if they will or not. I've, there's tons of all other great mocks, and that's just one that particularly jumped up for me. Somebody from the Ottawa Lug, Parlugment, he created a really awesome town, that, or like a city kind of thing, but no, not a, as many buildings, but just the train layout. It, I bet it was as big as my Lego room. It was like hollowed up in the middle though, so it would be the perimeter of the, and all the trains were just running around. It had working lights, working sound, and it was all controlled by his MacBook, so that was very cool. Now for today's question. I was talking about a convention earlier and today's question is, have you ever been to a Lego convention? Yes or no? If so, what was it? Where is it? And what was, how did you feel about going to that convention? Did you like it? Would you go to another one? Or even which convention is your favorite Lego convention? So a couple questions. Have you been to a Lego convention? And if the answer is no, then you really can't answer the other ones. But if you have been to a Lego convention, where was it? What convention was it? How did you feel about it? And is it the like what was the best convention you've ever been to if you've been to multiple? I will answer the question next week after I read all your comments on Brick Lover 18, giving you all some awesome shout outs. So yeah, so go check out all those channels that I mentioned below. Thank you for watching this Brick Lover 18 Asks You episode. And don't forget that if you want your comments to be read, I suggest you comment them before the Sunday, before Sunday night of the week they're posted. So from Wednesday you have four days to reply to comments because I normally film all my videos on Sunday like I am now. Thanks a lot for watching this video by BrickLover18. Go check out all my other BrickLover18 acts, you videos and all my other BrickLover18 videos. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.